So, so far, uh, we saw IBM, we saw Dell, um, we know we're going to hear more from HPE about AI next, uh, next week, um, but Lenovo wants to make sure that everybody knows uh, what they're up to and uh, what they're doing in AI. And you might guess, given the market share increases of Lenovo's infrastructure group uh, and their capabilities on the edge group at the edge that they would be doing some serious business uh, in AI. And the good news is, is, is they are. So uh, in a release and discussion that, that we had with Kirk Scoggin and team, uh, Novo says that they have revenue to over $2 billion uh, with, with, with AI. And by the way, I, I really appreciate the, the putting a number on it because it's so frustrating. Companies that want to be known for AI, they might very well be known for AI and then don't put any detail around the monetary uh, uh, impact. So Lenovo uh, took uh, the shot here. Uh, they also said that they're going to make another $1 billion investment over three years to accelerate the deployment, uh, and that's driven by research centers of excellence and other technology uh, investments. But here, here's where I kind of want to augur in, right? They said we have the most comprehensive AI portfolio, okay? And as analysts, we always need to watch, right, those types of statements. Well, I burrowed in a little bit uh, uh, to that statement, and Lenovo uh, sent me some proof points. And essentially, their measurement of being the most comprehensive is looking at Think System servers, Think Edge, Think Station, and Think Agile Edge, um, the amount of platforms that they have compared to um, HPE and Dell, and, and I think... Uh, IBM. And based on Lenovo, the way that they are measuring it, Lenovo does in fact have the most comprehensive AI platform uh, portfolio. So thanks to Lenovo on bringing that out and surfacing that. Uh, thanks for having the courage to actually have a number. Uh, we uh, appreciate that. And I'm going to look forward to following all the things in AI that, that, that you are, are going to do. I'm particularly interested in how you're looking at uh, models. What are some proprietary generative AI models that, that the company can tee up? Uh, who the company is aligning with? Companies like uh, Hugging Face, uh, as, as an example, uh, to get a better picture of what the company is doing in the future, but we know that what they're doing, what they're doing today, is making a difference, and they put a number on it—two billion dollars. Yeah, uh, Pat. Listen, the opportunity around AI has implications for every company, whether you're a kind of picks and shovels, you know, memory and networking and and and. and you know, DPUs or your applications, but somewhere in the middle, the, the sort of the the real hardware providers are getting a little bit lost in the shuffle. And this was brought, whether it's been Dell or HPE and now Lenovo, to really need to double down on making sure that their story resonates and lands. And, you know, whether we talk to Kirk Scoggin or Flynn Malloy, and as they've been rolling this out to us, what I've really been impressed by is the commitment to the sort of full stack and instead of seeing yourself as sort of the middle person in this overall opportunity they're seeing themselves as sort of the one that does a lot of the customer interfacing i mean they are the provider of whether that's the pc and the laptop you know or the core infrastructure the gpus i mean people are buying their compute you know they're not actually going and buying it in most cases from the chip provider they're buying amd from a lenovo from some sort of partner i mean the real way a customer gets their equipment comes through multi-source. There's something called a channel. And the channel is really, really important. Now, the massive investment, the multi-billion dollar investment is worth noting. I thought the what they call the innovators program, um, that was also really, really a valuable thing. You know, starting to turnkey these packs, because 
you know, you know how I was kind of going on and lamenting about the uh, Google Gen AI uh, app builder. It's the same thing with infrastructures. How do I spin up that right hardware? And you know, the thing is, is not everything is going to be done in the hyperscale public cloud. But you know what? If it is, Lenovo provides a lot of hardware to them as well. So Lenovo kind of has the the hedge going on. There. Yes. Yes. And, and so they're partnering with the, the, the edge. They're partnering with ISVs. They're investing hundreds of millions of dollars. They're building software plus hardware solutions. They're doing a lot of things right. And Pat, this has been reflected, you know, and don't let the, don't get confused about Lenovo's somewhat soft uh, end of your numbers. That was all in the PC business. That's right. The ISG business and the services business has been really robust. 50% growth. And I think that, you know, they need to get adequate credit for that. So this moment is really more about establishing that there's a really critical role for companies like Lenovo that are, you know, the plumbing in many ways of all of all the requirements to deliver AI at scale. And uh, it, was an, it's a, it was a really positive announcement for the company. So, you know, it, was, it wasn't like a, hey, we rolled out this new thing. It was kind of like a, hey, we have a story. And as I alluded to with Salesforce, Pat, I'll allude to here, not a new story. This didn't start with generative AI. They've been doing this for a while now. And so, you know, I think it's appropriate that they raise their hands and say, you know, we'd like to get credit. Good stuff, Dan. And I'll, I'll add that uh, unlike all the other OEMs, Lenovo has a hyperscaler uh, business. Um, so anytime you see the hyperscalers, there could be a chance that Lenovo was part of that.